Welcome to the Monday, June 17th, 2013 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Upsano's Market Insight Report. In today's video, U.S. tilapia prices are on the rise in 2013, and later we recap our HRI Movers of the Week. Now let's take a look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. Beef, it's what's for dinner. The famous advertising slogan earned its spot in commercial lore since the Beef Checkoff program launched the campaign years ago. And now it is getting a revival through its revamped website, beefitswhatsfordinner.com. The new look features sections with information for recipes, a butcher counter, cooking tips, and health data to educate consumers on how to purchase, prepare, and enjoy beef. The website also boasts a more contemporary, easier to navigate design and features larger, eye appealing images of beef items and has been designed to be compatible via mobile phones, tablets, and traditional PCs. Additionally, the website's content can be shared across many social media platforms. For more information on the revamped website and for other protein news from the center of the plate, head over to foodmarket.com. In other news, U.S. tilapia prices have climbed in 2013 as imports and supplies have ticked down during the year. Here is Seafood.com News staff writer Michael Ramsing with the latest. U.S. frozen tilapia fillet prices steadily increased in 2013 as diminishing supplies in the second quarter of the year have triggered an unseasonal rush on buying during a period when global inventories are seasonally low. The upward price trend has coincided with an increase in overseas replacement costs, or the import price per pound, which has been driven by importers seeking product to be delivered in April, May, and June, when major overseas suppliers are only just readying their ponds for harvest. For the last few years, frozen tilapia fillet imports to the U.S. have followed a seasonal trend, peaking in January, bottoming out in March, and steadily increasing through the remainder of the year. And in 2012, this trend held true, and the U.S. went on to import an all-time record amount of frozen tilapia fillets. But the influx in 2012 supplies allowed importers to hold off on ordering additional inventory in February. And as the industry emerged from the Lenten season at the end of March, they were met with dwindling inventories in the second quarter and a need of product. However, traders have reported 2013 inventories to be lower compared to year-ago levels. Additionally, year-to-date imports through April are down 20% compared to the same time a year ago. As a result, importers were forced to pay higher premiums for scarcer product, sending replacement costs up nearly 6% year-over-year to $2.05 a pound in April. However, harvests are expected to get underway and should offer some relief for U.S. importers seeking product, assuming all factors remain. It will be interesting to see if the increase in supply will drive down costs and market prices for the remainder of 2013. Thanks, Michael. We conclude today's show with a look at Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide, a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions. Here's Russell Barton with the Movers of the Week for June 11th through the 17th. We kick off our look at last week's HRI Movers of the Week with the Mahi Mahi Market. Due to scarce inventories across the U.S. and firm seasonal demand, the 8-ounce portion of Mahi Mahi firmed in excess of 3% last week. Moving over to the pork market, tenderloins were and continue to be a hot pork item. Retail demand typical of the spring and summer months combined with lower production levels have resulted in gains just over 3% in pork tenderloins. Turning to our first item in the red, U.S. shell eggs remained under pressure late last week and sellers were forced to discount product in order to move burdensome inventories. Prices have settled more recently, however, and are looking to rebound as production cutbacks and improved retail are noted domestically. Mexico is also showing renewed interest, and though brown eggs declined more than 8%, the market has steadied. Rounding out our look at last week's movers is the ground beef complex. In typical seasonal fashion, starting in the summer, ground beef moved lower. The increase in availability and the attention to other protein areas forced prices to fall double digits. Thanks, Russell. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Today's video is sponsored by Upsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Upsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.